In this video, we examine the question, does one more year of work matter for retirement security? Coming up next on Holy Schmidt. Holy Schmidt. A lot of people have been forced into or are considering retirement given the current situation that we are all in. And one of the questions that keeps coming up on the channel, particularly in the chat section, is should I wait another year because of what's going on out there, the volatility in the markets coming off of two years of lockdown, et cetera. Let's start off by talking about something called FIRE, financial independence retiring early. This is a term that many 30 and 40 year olds talk about when they plan their lives outside of work. They aspire to spend all of their time with their family, enjoying their hobbies and other things, and spend absolutely none of it working once they acquire the funds necessary to move into this next phase. Ironically, even though the metaphor inspires a small spark that spreads pretty quickly, the concept of early retirement has been around long before fire. In fact, it uses many of the same strategies, in fact, most of the same strategies as those that did it back in the day when it was just called early retirement. Effectively, you save as much as you can, invest as much as you can, and lead a Spartan lifestyle. That's the concept behind FIRE. That is unless, of course, you have had a whirlwind career. Think about the Wolf of Wall Street or something along those lines when you think about that type of person. But for most people, it is about living very, very modestly in and after the working years. Now, for those of you that didn't follow those simple to understand yet incredibly hard to execute instructions back in your 30s and 40s, you're now at the other end and you're wondering, will another year matter before I retire for my own financial security? Let's chat about some basic math. If a firist retires at say 40, that means they have another 40 years ahead of them. Basically to live for 40 years on an income that was generated during your first effectively 20 years of work, you have to re-engineer how you live. That is not what you do in retirement when you're retiring in your 60s. Firists do things like grow vegetables, hang out with other firists in order to engage in free activities. They have to figure out how to pay for health insurance, raise a family, pay for college in many circumstances for their children, and navigate the next 40 years. However, if you are age 64 and you're wondering if you should work another year to age 65, that is a completely different discussion. Unlike a firist, you're not trying to figure out how to leave the workforce either before or in your middle age years. In fact, you're trying to figure out how to amortize your future when you're in your 60s. At age 64, you're trying to figure out how to annuitize what you have in savings, your pension, your 401k, and the interplay with social security for the remaining years of your life. You have far less years ahead, and frankly, the swing factor of one additional year at 64 or 63 or 65, whatever your year is that you're contemplating retiring from, will have a much bigger impact on the remaining years than if you were in your 40s. Let's discuss this step by step, and for simplicity, we're going to ignore taxes. Of course, you can't really ignore taxes, although directionally people tend to pay less taxes in retirement than they do in their working years. So here are your three levers. Push one up and your cash flow goes on, pull one down and your cash flow goes off. Those levers are your work income, your retirement assets, and social security. Let's start off by assuming that you do continue to work for one more year. If you work for one more year, you have an additional year of work income. This means you have an additional year that you don't draw down on your retirement assets. This also allows you to continue to grow, contribute to your 401k or your retirement plan or your IRA, whatever vehicle you're using, and not draw down on that vehicle. So you have income coming in and you have contributions being made. In fact, if you have a 401k, there's a good chance your employer is matching. If you make $60,000 a year, which is the average income of someone approaching retirement, and you contribute the maximum, that would be a very large number, particularly if there's an employer match in there. But most people would not do that at 60,000 because they would be contributing a large portion of their current income that they use to live. Still, let's use 10% as a number. If you make 60,000 and you contribute six and your employer matches with say three, 
that means you have $9,000 going into your 401k. If you live like you're already in retirement, which is a distinct possibility if you were considering retiring anyway, that number would go up. On the flip side, Social Security increases by 6 to 8 percent per year, depending on where you are on the 62 to 70 scale in terms of your age. So waiting another year means that your Social Security payment goes up in today's dollars by somewhere between 6 and 8 percent. So doing the math, you have an additional ten dollars to $15,000 approximately going into your 401k. If you have a pension plan, your pension plan continues to get funded by your employer and your social security payment goes up by between six and eight percent. These are big numbers, particularly if you are watching this video and you are concerned about retirement security. Now, if you behaved like a firist your entire working career or a large portion of it, you were contributing more than these numbers. And in that instance, you have a lot of cash flow available to you in retirement, much more than whether one year will make a big difference or not. So then you're weighing off the value of time, versus the safety of being able to pay all of your bills in retirement. If being able to pay all of your bills in retirement is not as important to you because you have a lot of money, well then certainly consider the value of your time. The bottom line is this, most people who are approaching retirement know where they sit financially. If you feel like you're struggling and you're going to have a difficult time in retirement, it might make sense to wait the extra year or maybe even two. If you feel very confident about where you are financially and you've spent time mapping out your cash flow and doing all of the things that we talk about on this channel, well then perhaps the year may or may not be as important to you. I would recommend that you spend some time on this question. Talk to a financial planner, one that is a fee-only financial planner that is also a fiduciary, which means that they have your best interest at heart, not the products that they're selling to you. Also, Download my free retirement ready checklist at holyschmidt.com forward slash checklist. And that'll give you a really good idea of the things you should be thinking about as you answer this very important question. If you like this video and you'd like to see more of me, please make sure you click subscribe and turn on notifications so that you get alerted the next time I post a video, I post about twice a week. This is Jeff Schmidt. Thanks for watching.